we go. And I feel like that's better before we even hear mics. All right. Hi, I'm Flavio Cirillo. Happy to be here at Sandstone. Uh, we're going to be working on a class here today, talking about recording some drums, uh, keeping it simple, and keeping it at the source. The first thing that we got to talk about when we talk about keeping things at the source in recording drums, uh, or I guess recording anything in that matter, but recording drums here particularly, is what is the source? You know, we can get kind of um, things can get kind of convoluted in today's day and age with um, with recording and and how we go about it with with kind of running before we walk you know uh, talking about compression and eq and treatment and sound coloration whereas um, i think if you're if you're looking to record drums and you haven't done this before a good place to start is to start just simple and at the source so um, what are some sources or what is the source the first source is yourself like you can treat yourself like you are the source how are you going to play um how are you going to intentionally hit the drums you know in this situation we are not referencing any music or any material but that would be you know th the biggest step is to is to see like what am i going to do intentionally for this song or for this uh, whatever you're trying to do, if you're recording drums for yourself and you want to do things on your own. So that intention already is, should be an artistic approach, you know, uh, with yourself, you know, kind of getting yourself ready. Now, you know, I personally have a lot of different drums and a lot of different um, pieces of gear that I can pull on to help me, you know, work on that source but maybe some people don't have that luxury. So we can talk about the next step is if you only have one drum kit or, or one snare drum or a few, you, you can look in at, at, you know, how do we af affect that sound, the source being the drum itself by tuning, by the head choices, by sticks. A third part of the source would be what room are we in? What is your room saying? Are you in a big room? Are you in a tiny room? Are you in a treated room? Are you in a you know really live room? Um, that is another part of the source. Uh, and I guess when we move forward, when we actually do start recording, we'll talk about you know microphones, um, preamps, interfaces, what is ever at your disposal. But for now, uh, you know we can just keep it there, right? So I think we're going to move on and we're going to look at what this room is doing. Um, I personally haven't played or recorded drums in this room, so it'll be a new experience for my ears as well. Um, and we'll kind of walk through my reaction to what this room is saying with just a kick, snare, and hats for now. We're just gonna see how that reacts in this room. <laughs> 